Hey, welcome back to lesson four of our series on how to create Pong in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be adding in the interaction between the ball and the end zones and the scoring system. So to get started, we want to create a new script. So in your scripts folder, you're going to go to create and then C sharp script and you can name this script to Game Controller. We can then open it up in our coding environment. For this script, you want to make sure that you add these two namespaces up at the top. The first one is using unityengine.ui, and the second one is using unityengine.scenemanagement. Once you have these namespaces, the next thing that we need to do is add some new variables to the script. The first variable is going to be a singleton of this script, and so we have public, static, and then game controller, and we're going to call it instance. We then need to create two bool variables. The first one is a public bool called inplay, and we're setting it equal to false. The second one is a bool called game over, which is also set equal to false. We then have three int variables. The first one is a public int called score one. The second one is a public int called score two. And the third is a serialized field int called score to win. We then have two text variables. The first one is a public text called text1, and the next is a public text called text2. We then have a serialized field game object called game over panel, and a serialized field text called winner text. Once you have all of these variables created, the next thing that we need to do is initialize our singleton. And so in the onEnable function, we're setting instance equal to this. Once you've initialized your instance variable, we're going to take a break from the script and go back to our ball controller script. Inside this script, now that we have the variables created that are found inside the game controller script, we can create the interaction between the ball and the end zones. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the script where I have this segment of code that's commented out and I'm going to then uncomment it. This segment of code is the special onTriggerEnter 2D function. Since our end zones are triggers, we need this function in order to create the interaction between the ball and the end zones. And so inside this function, I have two if statements. One is checking to see if the other.tag is equal to end1. And inside this if statement, we can now reference the variables that are found in our game controller script. And we do this by accessing the singleton of that script. And so the first thing that we want to do is increment the score of player1. And so we have game controller dot instance dot score one and then plus plus. And the next thing that we want to do is update the display for our player one score. So I have gamecontroller.instance.text1.text equals gamecontroller.instance.score1.toString. Next we want to set the inplay variable equal to false. So I have gamecontroller.instance.inplay equals false. We then also need to set the set speed variable equal to false. We'll also set the velocity of our ball's rigid body equal to zero. So I have my RB dot velocity equals vector two dot zero. And finally, we want to reposition the ball so that it's back at the origin of our scene. So I have transform dot position equals vector two dot zero. Once you have this first if statement created, we can then copy it and paste it down below, but then change it to else if. We'll then also change it so that it's other.tag equals n2. And then all you need to do is change wherever it has a score one to score two and text one to text two. Once you have this on trigger enter function created, we can then save this script and go back to our game controller script. Inside our game controller script, we're gonna skip over our update function for now and create a new function, which is of type void, and it's called winner. Inside this function, we have an if statement where we're checking to see if our game over variable is equal to false. If it is, then we have two more if statements where we're checking to see which score is greater than or equal to the score to win variable. So if score one is greater than or equal to score to win, then we want to set our game over variable equal to true. We'll set the winner text dot text equal to the string player one wins and we'll activate our game over panel. 
So I have game over panel dot set active and I'm passing in true. You can then copy this if statement and paste it down below, but then change the score one to score two and change the string that we're saving into the winner text to player two wins. Once you have this function created, we just need to call this function within our update function. After that, you can then go ahead and save the script and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity, you can create a new empty game object and call it game controller. You can then attach your new game controller script to this object. As for the variables of this script, I have the score to win set to three. The text one is set to the score one object, which is this zero in the bottom left corner. The text two is set to our score two object, which is the zero in the top right corner. The game over panel variable is set to our game over panel object. And the winner text is set to the game over text, which is this player underscore wins. Once you have all of those variables set, we can then test our project. So the ball is still moving by itself, but now there's an interaction between the ball and the end zones where it adds a score to the opposite player. And if a player reaches the score of three, we then have our game over panel pop up. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to create Pong in Unity.